America's population grew by at least two dozen today following an emotional ceremony at a metro school. This was the second year John Rex Charter School hosted a naturalization ceremony. Students got a front row seat to this very important day. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale was there. Well, today, 30 people from 18 different countries were welcomed as U.S. citizens. I talked with a few who say this is one of the happiest days of their lives. I can congratulate all of you on becoming citizens. Emotions running high inside John Rex Charter School's gym Tuesday morning. It's one of something I waited for a long time. I'm so happy and so proud. Hinda Kalam was one of more than two dozen people who took the oath of allegiance. Foreign and domestic. Becoming a U.S. citizen has been a goal of hers for a decade. The 29-year-old moved here from Iraq in 2014. I see a lot of dreams and opportunities that I can achieve here in this country. Basically getting a better future for fam like my, fam my own family, um, getting like nice jobs, uh, being fair, like treated fair, and having a lot of rights, like freedoms. Rosa Caroba Wisman also ventured to Oklahoma to pursue the American dream 10 years ago. We love it here. We love it so much. She's from Mexico and moved to Oklahoma for her husband's job. My kids were born here, so we are now like all citizens of this country, so we are very proud and so happy. John Rex Elementary Principal Lana Ingram says the ceremony teaches students not only about the process of becoming a U.S. citizen, but also lifelong lessons. The students get to see the hard work that it takes. Our kids afterwards said, this was such a great thing. We're so proud of them, so they were excited to experience that. In Oklahoma City, Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. And so were those kiddos, too. School leaders tell us they plan on hosting another naturalization ceremony again next year. Hmm.